you were commenting before we began the recording that uh, you're not into into MySpace either. You're primarily Facebook also. Is that? Yeah, definitely. I think MySpace is, is too messy. Um, too, too many ads, like Johanna said. And I don't know, there's something about Facebook. At least it started very simple, which I really liked. And now... Okay, complicated. Yeah, the applications, it's a little intense sometimes. Yeah. But, you know, there's, it's, it's straightforward and you can kind of find what you want and yeah. block out what you don't, which is great. Well, one of the interesting things is uh, I do have a 15-year-old daughter at home and she uses both. And uh, I, in, in her mentoring me, I asked her the question, mm -hmm. why do you use uh, MySpace? And her reply to me is she's a music lover and she follows bands. So it's like yeah. a very specific application. Is that the same use you have I, I can add, add to that point. So I, I see um, quite a difference between Facebook and MySpace. So while a lot of professional and college contacts I keep in touch with on Facebook, all of my uh, cousins who are in their teens are predominantly all on MySpace and do not use Facebook whatsoever. So it's kind of that audience, um, you know, I think the ease of use and just the popularity of MySpace intrigues and draws some of that younger generation, the generation of few years, you know, about 10 years younger than us, and, uh, you know, more of the professional college uh, 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 people tend to just go to Facebook. Yeah. And I think that's part of it, at least for, uh, I think for me and my friends, we don't really like Facebook, like, oh, all the high schoolers and the middle schoolers are on that, like, yeah. We don't want to be on MySpace, you know, but it's just, I think it's really a personal thing when it comes down to it. I've, I've watched my cousins grow up on there, and that's how I keep in contact with them, so it's quite interesting. That's, that's what they use. To keep an eye on them? Yeah. It's very <laughs> interesting. You see the pictures and their videos and all their comments and kind of just, uh, you know, they're 700 miles away, but um, you know, still keep in contact with them. It's, it's amazing to me the power of connection, um, how you can just use a technology like that and reach everyone. And I mean, for me, my, my biggest example being a Facebook user, not probably as long as any of you, is I've discovered all of my high school friends. You know, and they're quite old. I was just surprised that they had computers and stuff. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's one of those, those connections. The other, the other comment I just wanted to make is I, I think on the social side, the, the, one of the important pieces, and I think which will be deterministic on which you use, uh, my daughter started on MySpace and she moved to Facebook. And I said, well, why did you do that? She says, well, all my friends moved to Facebook. So what's the use of being on something that nobody's 